Hi guys, Karen here with another video. Welcome back to our channel. So I decided at the end of each month on Tuesday, I will do a grocery haul um, and of what we purchased. Um, that way for those who are watching who um, need ideas or you know, want to know if I'm really cooking. <laughs> I thought, oh, this would be the best way so you can see. Um, first, I don't really buy a lot of um, processed things. So I, I, I make a lot of things myself, not because I have to, but because I really enjoy doing that. So which puts me in a position where I have to cook all the time, not have to, wrong word, that I I just cook all the time. So I thought it'd be fun each month to just show you at the end of each month, what I'm purchasing. I tend to shop twice a month um, and I try to stock up on the things that we use the most. And I, um, what is it? And when I go shopping, I, because I use a lot of flour and sugar and just regular items, there are some things that I don't have to buy all the time. So what you see in front of you are the things that I need to replenish, which is mostly fresh fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables. So let's get into it. So first up, I went to Whole Foods. This is my Whole Foods area. So I like to purchase the Tofurky for the Hubster and Maya as they uh, work and go to campus. And so most of the time they take whatever I made for dinner, but on the rare occasions that everybody's rushing, these come in handy. Um, yeah, so I don't buy these all the time. Um, I like these spinach, but I do have spinach growing in the garden. And as soon as that's ready to pick, I will no longer have to purchase these. Yay. Okay. So I also, and I got this yogurt from there. It's our favorite yogurt. Um, Maya's favorite, um, uh, most specifically, and that came from Whole Foods as well. I tend to get the plain one and that way I can add a, I just make a simple syrup using, uh, strawberries and whatnot. From the other store called Wegmans, I think is similar to H-E-B, Kroger's, that sort of thing. Um, until our tomatoes come in, well, we haven't even planted tomatoes yet, but these are my favorite type of tomatoes, the grape tomatoes, and that's what I like to grow during the summer. So I get three of these. With this, I make spaghetti sauces, um, spaghetti sauce, salads, um, any type of tomato base, I can do it with this. I can make it into a paste or anything. Of course, we had to get some potatoes. Here, I always get lots and lots of broccoli. And um, in this one, you will see cilantro until ours comes in, definitely. <laughs> um, and over here, we have some mushrooms. I stopped at our local oops, Spice Bazaar and I got some Chai Moments Masala, really good, and onions. So right here, we have our strawberries, blueberries. These tend to last at almost two weeks. And like I said, I'll chop them up, make them into a, a sauce or whatnot, or uh, a jam that can be used for our yogurt. We have peppers here, lots and lots of peppers, um, because who doesn't like peppers? Um, <laughs> here we have some garlic, because you need lots of garlic. We have eggs here. From This came from Whole Foods too. Um, we have some shallots here. And then I have peppers here. I'll open them up and show you what type of peppers I purchased. So in this um, bag, I have an assortment of peppers. What I like to do is if the peppers are $3.99 a pound, I just get all of the peppers that say $3.99 a pound. So uh, you might recognize some of the peppers then by name, but I know I have poblano um, in here, uh, just an assortment. Maybe some jalapenos are in here. Um, most of them are mild. No, they're not mild. Yeah, some of them are mild too hot but um, the really hot ones well I don't really have any super hot ones here <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying but the hubster and Maya may disagree but you guys know I like spice oh tip if you have some herbs that you bought from the store because we don't have any cilantro in the garden I just put this in a glass 
jar filled with water, cold water in the refrigerator and it'll last you at least two weeks. Um, right here we have a big thing of tofu. It has 12 individual blocks in here. And what I like to do with the tofu is uh, open the package, take Ziploc bags, and what I'll do is either freeze one individually or freeze them two by two. And that way I can use them for breakfast or dinner or whatever the case may be, but then they're ready to go. We have our um, apples here, Gala apples oranges um, I like to buy an assortment of onions so these are sweet onions over here I have red onions and then I have just a regular Vandalia on no that's Vandalia are sweet um, then I have just regular um, onions um, in the bowl already and we have some grapes as you can see I like to buy a lot of fruit we eat a lot of fruit and I try to get an assortment so that you know, people who can't have like super raw fruit like Maya, cause she can't eat raw apples, but she can have oranges. Um, or she can, but the app, she can have an apple, but it has to be cooked. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so, and uh, people with UC can, some people with UC can eat raw apples. She just can't, but she can eat blueberries, raw blueberries, strawberries. So I try to buy a lot of fruit that everybody can enjoy. Um, more peppers here. Yes, I have a pepper thing going on. Um, some limes and lemons. I have a daughter who eats chicken. So if she drops by, I might just do a video about that. I always keep a whole chicken on hand so that I can, um, and I use the lemon, the lime and the lemons to, um, clean it, so to speak with salt. <laughs> I, I will explain that in another video. More eggs. The egg should last us at least two weeks. We have pears here. Um, we have some sugar, regular sugar. I have baking flour. I have flour and um, brown sugar. I think that's it. Oh, hold on. And at my local Spice Bazaar, they sell uh, basmati rice, the long grain. It's 10 pounds. This was $15. Well worth the price. Um, it's very fragrant, very fragrant. One of my favorite things to get there, and that's where I always get my rice. And we do eat a lot of rice here. Um, so this is it, guys. If you have any questions, um, let me know. But I forget, well, I have to go back because I need to get some nuts and seeds. We tend to run out of fruit, veg, fresh fruit, veg, nuts and seeds. But things like um grits um you know those tend to actually they don't stay around actually <laughs> i've i've gone through two of these in two weeks um yeah we eat a lot of grits around here and oatmeal um yeah so i'm gonna do these once a month for those who are looking to see you know um what it looks like when you cook uh, like when you do a lot of things um, from scratch um, and not a lot of things like uh, there are some things like I said that I buy that are pretty like a processed um, like the tempeh and the turkey uh, vegetarian turkey slices or that doesn't even make sense but you know what I'm talking about <laughs> but uh, for the most part we like to make things from just homemade around here Anyway, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. What are you, what's on your grocery list this week? Yeah, what's what's been on you guys' grocery list? And guys, just a tip. This is the, just the after tip. If when you're putting your things away and you find that you have an excess of fruit or whatnot that will not fit in your containers or will overflow in the refrigerator, just go ahead and chop them up and make a nice little strawberry sauce. It's great with your yogurt. I'm gonna do blueberries and strawberries in here because we have some that won't fit in our little containers. Um, hope you enjoy that tip. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Bye.